Welcome everyone, this is Al Dakman Barry, and today I'm filming literally the day I'll be posting this, so... I've been caught up with a bunch of things. The A's trying to kill me. And a few other failed projects. Uh, I get the feeling sometimes people don't realize these buses are not worth all that much. I like them. And a few other people. And that's about it. They're not like... Ooh, so... There. Clock. Anyways, because I didn't really have time to work on anything and be able to stand without uh, blood sugar dropping, whatever. I wanted to post a couple of things that I thought were interesting because I'm spending a lot of time resting and all that. I was watching a lot of these old movies. What well, initially started as me looking at, oh, look at this. So that led me down this chase of finding all these movies where you can get these cool shots, especially when they're like new or brand new and whatever, these buses and trucks and so on. And it just made me think that these movies portray life in such a cool way. And a lot of people draw this conclusion that, oh look, see, communism was awesome. Look at how women were. Look at how men were. And there's no traffic, there's no this and that. Yeah, but we're all looking back through the nostalgia lens because I remember things that were cool about the 90s because I don't really think about the horrible things I went through, like the Romanian hospital system. Yeah, it was free, but they literally strapped me in this big nurse's lap, grabbed my arms, did that, and they went in live and yanked out my tonsils and whatever the polyps or whatever you call them. Holy crap, talk about medieval procedures. Hey, it's free, it's free healthcare. Yeah, well, I don't think of that. I'm not nostalgic about that. I'm nostalgic about the parks, the going to school, making new friends, because I was you know, fairly young still. I'm not uh, nostalgic about the minor uprising and being in this bus. It was a 331. We were there for some protests, me and this nanny, and it got bad to the point where these guys were chucking pickaxes and, and hammers and smashing all the windows trying to kill people. So the driver said, screw it, and literally drove over these miners, miners, like the, I hope, I hope, not the minor, like the little kitties, no. So he drove over these dudes, killing them, and I remember that to this day, the sound of that, crunching skulls, right? And he just booked it, flat out, top speed, with a bus with shattered windows. He finally stops at the... Free Press Square. That was a new name for this. Basically, it was this huge building, and that was where the main printing was done for all the propaganda newspapers, which had changed after 1989. That's where he first stopped, and people were getting out, shaking, and it was my nanny, myself, and I think my brother was there too. I don't remember. She was like, "Oh no, come on, do you, you know, just drive us to our stop, please." Yada yada. And he said, "Okay, fine, I'll drive you." the next two stops down the road we get off and he turns around and goes back to the garage am i nostalgic about that not really that was more like a formative moment in my life it's not the kind of things that i think of when i watch these movies and that's what these movies represent they're just filtered through events of our past our own memories and we look at it oh it's nice it's basically like fantasy now, on the other hand, I still recommend you would watch these movies, especially if you speak Romanian. There's so many of these really cool movies that are um, free to watch. YouTube is full of them. And you're really, um, you're hitting the other big corporate uh, Disney types. You're hitting them in the wallet. Why would you pay money to see some crap propaganda that's pushing this ideal or pushing that ideal? Watch one of these, it's free and it hits them hard. With that, I'm gonna leave you with a couple more of these little shots, of course, with the buses, and I'll put the title of the movie, but I will not title, I will not link them because I don't want them to get in trouble either. So 
you'll find these links. A couple of them are older, like early 80s, in the 80s to the 90s. This is one interesting soap opera kind of thing, but not. And it spans from 1987 all the way to 1995, which is an interesting change. Hmm. You know? And if, for whatever reason, the actress of that sees this, a reminder, the hoodies are in, don't catch a cold, gotta stay warm, and these are the original Dak Dynasty hoodies and t-shirts. So anything else you see out there, you know that's the fake. This is the original gear. And no matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody does, Olivia is the first one. The first one that started all this. She's the one that was saved specifically to be saved. No other bus can say that. It's her. She was the one that came to the US. No other bus did that but her. She's the first. She's the original. She may be copied. She may be imitated, but never replicated. So, get your hoodies, buy the Starbird Maiden novel, and hope you enjoy these cool shots. Blast from the past. This is Al Dakman Barry, and I hope you have a great ride. Să prezint un prieten, Dragoș Voicilă. Ioana, o colegă. Să răduna. Ioana Vizilu. Dragoș Voicilă. Xenofonte Vizilu. Dragoș Voicilă. Îmi pare bine. Xenofonte Vizilu. Să răduna. Scuzați. Îmi pare rău. Și nouă, la revedere. La revedere, la revedere. Să rog mâna, la revedere. Să rog mâna. Atent, atent. Hai. La revedere. Atenție, dragă. Coborâți? La revedere. Pa, scumpule, pa. Ce amabil ești tu câteodată. Ce ți-a venit? Ce-i amabil?
Nu uitați să dați like, să lăsați un comentariu și să distribuiți acest material video pe alte rețele sociale. Toată lumea la sirop până vine trenul. Sunt scris aici. Cu adresă. Ei un taxi din trenul. În casa asta găsești tot ce ai nevoie. Să găsiți de cea mai groază apă, ciorbă de vârdele pe fața pământului. 